Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of MJ Vlogs. In Chinese language, Shang means lasting and An means safety. So together, Shang and means lasting safety. Yes, we are talking about an automobile Chinese company which has over 156 years of history and 34 years of automobile making experience. Shang and brand was introduced in Saudi Arabia in May 2016. And in fact, they have plans to launch these cars in India as well in 2022. And now at present in Saudi Arabia, there are almost seven models in Al Mazdui dealership. Without further ado, we are going to review one of the best selling SUV in KSA. That is the Shangen CS75. So guys, this is the CS75, the Shangen CS75 and we are going to check the exterior features which are there on the car and first we start with the start with the grill. It has a 5 step grill over here and you can see the chrome finishes which is attached in front and there we have the skid plate with a chrome lip. That's what we can see from the front side and it's look like uh, pretty much a new design like we cannot see uh, any other car with the same kind of design and the best thing is like the LED headlamps it has got a DRLs as well as this uh, high beam and low beam incorporated in uh, one lamp it is like complete LED there is no other type of lamp which is used in this car and we got a indicator over here we got a fog lamp over here that's fully functional it's fully LED uh, that's what the front portion says so as you can see on the hood, you can see two character lines and it shows a muscle character for the SUV and you know it's a SUV right so it has to be a muscle look, it has to carry that muscle look. And when you move towards the windshield area, usually you see the water spray nozzle uh, which is normally kept on the hood but it's actually tucked inside. And uh, the wiper is also well placed and uh, when you move to the side you get to see uh, big fenders over here and it has a 17 inch alloy wheels i think it has a 10 spoke alloy and it's a 17 inch wheels and the fender is actually really big uh, it says that it's an suv when you move towards the door you can see a fully adjustable fully automatic mirrors over here it can be controlled from inside it is completely foldable and it has an indicator uh, inside this one and you can see one turbo badging over here and you can see the on the door you can see the character lines which is starting from the engine side and it goes to the tail side all and you have uh, on this handlebar you have this push button for the keyless entry and you can see the plastic beading with uh, chrome finishing and it looks pretty nice and it's written CS75 over here actually you can see some matte black finish over the glass frame and uh, you can see a chrome strip over here and uh, the typical suv roof rail uh, i think it can carry around 100 kg or something but uh, the thing is like it has a fully open uh, panoramic sunroof so i think it's not recommended to keep uh, luggage on the top when you come towards the back side the boot is like a huge massive one actually it's completely uh, custom and you cannot see any vehicle like this and you got a wonderful spoiler it has the uh, washer for the rain and uh, the rain sensing also it's there the sensor is also there and you have a wiper uh, the shangan badging is over here and this tail lamp it starts from the side and goes to the other side that's this one is a complete functional unit and this is the dummy uh, 
and it has a lip over here for the boot you can see one chrome finishing and it's in written shangan the brand cs75 so when you open this boot it's like really spacious like we can we cannot even compare to its competitors the trunk capacity is around 590 liters which is way far better than the competitors in this same segment and yeah it's completely massive you got a 12 volt uh, charger over here outlet over here and the uh, spare tires kept underneath that's what the boot is all about when you come to the exhaust part you can see the two diffusers uh, this has a chrome finishing and it has a dual exhaust which is completely functional and it is nice you can see the parking sensors over here you have the fog lamp over here you have the reverse lights which is both functional and yeah that's it all about the exterior part and we'll go inside I just want to introduce the owner of this car, the Shangen CS75, Mr. Ruben. He is my friend actually and uh, he's one of the best friends. So he owns this uh, CS75 for the past uh, maybe one year. So he's going to share what are the special features he, he noted in this car other than other uh, SUVs which you have over here. So over to Ruben. So okay, this is, uh, I'm going to just explain, you know, just the rough console. Uh, uh, settings that are available on the Shangan. Uh, first of all, uh, on the left side, we have a traction control button over here and we have a park assist button over here as well. Uh, the park assist, uh, it comes at a 360 sensor. We have sensors in the front and the back also. And in the full, full option variant, 4x4 version, it provides a 360 degree camera also. So when, when the proximity sensor goes alert in the front side, uh, the camera also gets activated but in this version we just have the reverse uh, camera okay. compared to the other uh, variants in this class the camera clarity is amazing and the prosim proximity sensors is it's mind-blowing seriously so um, we have vertical guidelines to, you know to help us you know assist with the steering and uh, it's it's very accurate you know I've initially you know I, I I've never had a car you know with uh, such things and uh, initially I had little coping issues but now I rely on this camera completely for my parking and uh, coming back to the center console and the drive console the drive console is it's very sporty looking uh, for example we have the theme changer setting so red is obviously it's a sports uh, setting it looks sporty we have uh, we have uh, other themes also available we have a light blue theme and a, yeah, this is the light blue theme. So it, it goes along with the ambience of the car, you know, this is very bright. So in the night time, you can really feel that, you know, it something is very elegant and, you know, it's more luxurious. So let me just take you to the main uh, uh, driver console over here. We have a main uh, screen, which I think it's... Uh, a seven, a 6.5 inch screen, uh, which provides the basic uh, requirements, uh, as in we have the odometer, we have the fuel gauge and the engine temperature capacity. We have the live, uh, one of the unique features that I found in this car, uh, we have a live demo of the car. 
you know speaking of live demo if i if i release my ham, uh, brakes from the uh, if i release my foot from the brake pad the light on the demo car also goes which is very it, i find my wife find this really cute uh, one of the other features is we have blinkers activated in the demo car also you know so these are all small small things that you know we as a consumer find it really you know worth the money you know and uh, that, that that's one of the reasons that i, I that i opted shangan and uh, speaking about the main console the center console uh, the ac in this is outstanding uh, there are limited vehicles which provide air conditioning in the front side and the bike's back side shangan 75 is one of one of those which provide both so it's uh, uh, now itself it's 41 degrees outside and ac is really uh, the climate control is really amazing in this so that's one of the re uh, one of the reasons you know that i found i find this uh, ac on this particular variant to be amazing one of the another features is you're getting inside a car in the hot summer obviously you will burn some things definitely uh amazing feature that i had is is the seating ventilation it's both heat and cool control so it just takes around 5 or 5 minutes under 5 minutes just to cool off the seat and you know so that you know it does not uh you know get too much com uncomfortable for you while while driving so guys the seats and the cs75 it's like complete leather and it's really comfortable to sit and it has on the driver side it is completely electronically adjustable it has six way adjustable uh, seat you can do it here all the controls are over here on the left side and it's yeah it's completely comfort comfortable to sit over here and on the co driver side it is manually adjustable so when i'm sitting in this car i feel like the legroom and headroom is quite on the higher side because i am 5 foot 8 and i've got maybe extra 15 or 20 cm in front of my foot and the headroom is like yeah it's pretty decent and the seats also it's pretty comfortable actually um, three persons can sit behind uh it's actually the middle portion is actually flat so three people can comfortably sit over here and when you think about three person you cannot see a seat belt over here for the third person and it has to come from here which is completely unique actually you see this it has to be it has to come from here that's pretty unique and the panoramic sunroof it's pretty awesome when you travel in the winter or uh, during night time it's pretty good to enjoy with the panoramic sunroof open you can get all the wind from there and it's pretty nice when you have kids and all Wow! Wow! Super cool. So that's what the rear seat says. So as I said in the intro, this uh, Shangen was actually introduced in Saudi Arabia in May 2016, and now this is 2020, and you purchased it like in 2019. So what made you choose this uh, Shangen, and like, uh, uh, what is the one-year experience of owning this Shangen? So it's been one year now, and performance-wise, as a I'm I'm a happy consumer. I'm a happy customer. it has not disappointed me at all ma you ask me why i went uh, with shangen when i went when i was going planning to buy this brand you know the obvious talks from all my friends is why do you want to go for a chinese brand is it going to be reliable what about the after sale services what about the vehicle value after you purchase it uh these were the concerns that were you know you know in a way you can say that is bothering me but uh, uh i did my study and uh, i went through vigorous uh, online subjects studying about this and one of the things that mainly attracted me is we all know that car sales especially in ksa uh in in the category of uh, sedans or uh, medium range car Al Majdoui is way up there, and one of the reasons that the, you can say that's a key reason, uh, Al Majdoui being a prestigious company in car sales, when Shangen, uh, when Al Majdoui announced that it's giving backing to Shangen, so you're talking all their sales or all, all their operation side, it's managed by Al Majdoui, that made me, you know, completely hands down focused on the car. So guys, now it's a uh, time for test drive. we'll just take the cs75 for a spin i 
see i don't have to press the accelerator now because when you release the brake itself it is moving actually the led headlamps it's like uh, really functional you know uh, the brightness is like on the really on the higher side when you compare to the yellow lights this one is having a clear vision it's completely led as i have said wow and the power is like uh, it's really on the aggressive side it's not like the normal suvs you know the bi turbo it's like when the bi turbo kicks in it's like a uh, heavy power and the braking is also it's pretty decent when you switch on the traction control uh, it's pretty giving uh, pretty confidence like when you brake it's okay I think the suspension uh, it's like it's for the city comfort actually it's set like for the city comfort uh, it's not that hard it's not that soft it's on the medium side i guess yeah the power is like too much it's actually not a beginner beginner suv car maybe it won't be considered in that segment because the power is like too much and of course it's a petrol engine and i'm getting actually a good view from here like i can see the complete road and i can see the front side of the hood and it's giving a good view from here <laughs> the main competitor for this car is like the Havel brand uh but i haven't test drive test driven it yet maybe in the future vlogs you can expect that so i can have a clear comparison about the performance of this one and the Havel brand even though this car is like a huge one uh, but when you sit inside and drive this one you don't feel like it's a, such a massive car it's like a, just a small car that you're driving like a normal sedan car so this engine produces a 174 horsepower and uh, it produces 234 nm torque and the, it's completely torquey you know the values of a uh, torque you can imagine how the throttle responds and how is the pulling like and it's comparatively higher when you compare with the same segment car in the Havel Havel brand so definitely this holds a upper hand and the turning radius is also it's actually friendly it's not that too much i see you are not feeling any lag when you drive this one the um, the changing of the gears is like quick quick you know you don't feel any lag and there is no power lag at all i just want to say that even uh, when you press the accelerator it's like quick you don't have to wait for the gear change or something like that so according to the test drive we have done i think i'll blindly recommend this car to someone who is planning to buy an suv and uh, in a comfortable price range actually that's the main thing that attracts uh, people now because the taxes has gone high and you're looking for a much more financially uh, low kind of suv but with additional features that's what everybody is looking for value for money so i think this one has a best value for money in terms of that even if it is a chinese automobile brand it has got huge experience in automobile making and that's what makes this brand stands out from the other brands as ruben said uh, the almazdui dealership that's what uh, that is a dealership which is uh, uh, backing this shangen and because of that only like people are rushing towards almazdui for purchasing the vehicle because uh, this one this shangen brand is one of the leading brands which has a higher kind of sales now in ksa so it's i think that's only because of the backing uh, by this almazdui so all the sales activities all the after sale services and everything it's kind of best from almazdui and 
that makes it people like uh, they are blindly going to al masjid and taking the cars that's a fact so guys now it is time to reveal the prices actually uh, when ruben purchased this car it was around 68000 excluding vat that was 5% now it is like 68500 and uh, with 15% tax extra so that is the present cost of the cs75 shangan actually when it comes to india i don't know the price how they going to match because actually they are planning to start a uh, plant in uh, chennai so the price would be like little more less all the importing uh, they'll do the import and maybe assemble it in chennai so yeah let's hope like uh, the shangan brand also comes in india as well then it's going to be the best one because you get uh, additional so many features incorporated in one car which nobody other gives thank you so much for uh, merlin and jubin uh, for providing me the opportunity to cover my car i hope uh, he has covered almost all aspects of the car and uh, is very informative to you guys uh, do subscribe to their channel and watch out for many amazing content you know and so all the best thank you ruben and uh, on this note we are winding up today's episode so see you in the next vlog take care have fun stay safe and bye bye